Uprooted from their homes by war and famine, these children are finally back in the classroom. For years, they've been living with their families in IDP camps outside Mogadishu, where everything is lacking. Yeah. Young student volunteers are teaching them basic literacy and numeracy skills under makeshift shelters, sometimes just under a tree. At first, we couldn't even feed them, but at least we can teach them to make them an educated generation. The volunteers teach nearly 600 students, aged between 6 and 15, in four refugee camps near the capital. I like studying in this school, and later I want to be a nurse to help people in hospitals. Without resources, families cannot afford to send their children to school. The courses given by the young volunteers offer an alternative to Quranic schools, which are the only other source of free education. These volunteers give classes to many of my children because I cannot pay school fees. Before I did everything I could to get two of my sons to go to school, it cost $20 a month each. I have other children and I cannot pay for school. Decades of civil war and famine have led hundreds of thousands of Somalis to flee their homes and settle in these forgotten camps. It's hoped the initiative will help some of the country's most destitute children to dream of a better future than their parents.